Hey, what is going on guys? I'm back with some more Hunter x Hunter. Before I jump into this episode, please feel free to check out this channel's Patreon. There you can get full, uncut, and early reactions to episodes and shows such as this. It really helps me out a lot and helps me to keep making videos with you guys, and I really do appreciate it. Yeah, Killua was set free by his father. I feel like there's more intentions behind that, but maybe I could be overthinking it, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying these last few episodes. There's, I think what I'm most hoping for for this episode is for Gon and Killua to meet. So who knows? I do really hope they reunite in this episode, but... We'll see. I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. And let's just jump straight into this next episode. Can't see if you're blind. Hmm. I really thought that she died. I think she's gonna like release this guy on them or something. I could be completely wrong. Maybe the father has good intentions towards him. <laughs> this guy's gonna get involved. I think. Honestly, I was expecting like castles and crazy shit. It's just like a nice big ass mansion. I like how friendship friendship seems to be a big like moral theme in this. I love that. Hirua sama, omatsu shite orimashita. Goto, Gon wa ima doko ni iru? Omae shitteru ndaro? Gon sama to otsure no o futari wa kanariya no annai de kochira e mukasu. How is this going to go down? Because there's still like so stuff has to happen. Sugu ni irashai masu no de o heya de omatsu kudasai. Ah, Gon ga kitara sugu ni obeyo. Eh. Uh, something's gonna happen. Yeah. It's for Killua because he's still being like manipulated. Yes. Here we go. Oh shit. I mean, these guys are probably good too. Was everything here weighed like a thousand pounds too? Well, I'm not going to get him out of here. I'm not going to get him out of here. Thank you. Gon keeps getting fucked up. But the other two don't really as much as him. Yes, I'm not going to get him out of here. Let's go quickly and get him out of here. I'm happy to get him out of here. What are they saying? I'm going to get him out of here to get him. Oh shit. I would never want to play a game with these kinds of people. <laughs> They're already lunatics in that. I'll use music. Sabarashi. I think this is just gonna get like insane or something. Holy shit! I feel like Gon's quick though. Like he'll he'll pass this one. Jeez. Hiroa-sama-ga-kuru-made-ni-kezron-o-dasu. Oh! Oh! Is she actually gonna die now? Oh, fuck.
I like everything's always a test on this show. Dude, with this music. <laughs> oh. How is this going to play out? I feel like there's going to be some trickery or something. What is he planning? Oh! Clever! How does he go and know these things? Oi, Goto! I mean, the only thing that can help now is if Kilo like walks in on them. I think of all people gone. Damn. What between all? Oh my God. That's not fair. Who knew like a, co a coin guessing could be so fucking intense? I like how they make something so small like this mean so much and be so dramatic. It's like you really can't use anything to your advantage when trying to like tell a story. Oh! Oh hell, oh my god. Oh. He walked in. What timing? What if he walked in like right after they lost though? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, maybe he's gonna see this and be like, hmm. I don't think it was a joke. Okay, I don't like how we're going around this. <laughs>。I don't think that's true. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like how he's still a kid at heart. Just gonna give him the coin. さあ、どっちです左手でしょ左手でしょ嘘そう、トリックです世の中正しいことばかりではありませんお気をつけてヒロさんよろしくお願いいたしますわーおおまいガーッ Oh, I got the chills. Oh my god, I love the show. That was so small and so subtle. It meant so much. Nothing can get past her. He knows all. Oh, okay. Okay, and then th there's like mixed about that then because that means he was relying on them to get all the questions right <laughs> until the end. Oh, he really took that to heart. That means we're gonna see Hisoka again. I love his like stubbornness because it really adds to his character of what he like believes in. Like, it's his morals. Oh. Yeah, how? Oh, that's what he whispered. <laughs> Oh, shit. 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 Oh, 
Man. I like how there's like, seems to be like clans and things everywhere. Like there's like organizations. Wow. I mean, yeah, that is pretty big for sure because so I can understand that. I like how each of them has like their little like backstory that we're you know we're gonna get into. It gives it gives me those like pure adventure vibes where we're gonna delve into each character's background like per arc or something maybe, and then by the end you know they're all built characters and they're all like their bonds are like complete. Oh. Oh. Wow, wait, so we're separating? Oh no. So we're separating for half a year? At least Kill and Gonald stay together, right? Yeah. I was not expecting this. Of course. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, lay it on him easy. Jeez, he's still going. <laughs> I didn't even, wait, I didn't even think Hanzo was that okay. Damn. Shows what I know. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is pretty humble of him to say that. I actually really like that about his character. Like, he's realistic, you know, he's, he's, he doesn't have the like, child tendency of, I am stronger. But like, his brother told him that too. Never fight anyone more powerful than you. What are we gonna be doing like uh, a tournament thing again? Are we gonna have to like fight their way for like a prize pool or maybe? Oh, it's over. Because something tells me maybe they'll meet up at the next season. Like maybe it'll be like a month back. Or the Heavens Arena could be the next arc. Huh? Alright. Alright, exactly what I wanted. We got them to reunite. Uh, really happy about that. That was a uh, that was pretty extreme. That like coin toss game. I don't know. Just oh my god, the way it, it like happened. It's just the show really does go around your expectations of what you're thinking, and it's so subtle. Like just that subtlety of a little game of coin toss meant so much for like the butler's character, and basically like just what the show is tailored around. Like it's very. It's not basic at all there's always like a deeper meaning to it and they use such small little things but yeah that was a really great scene that whole that whole like kill was family thing that just happened i really really enjoyed like it might have been like my favorite parts of this show so far i would say the only drawback is we didn't get enough kill honestly but in the end it was it, it like this is near the end of the first i mean this basically is the end of the first season and the first season did such a great job at setting up all of our characters because like we completely have insight to each of them and these last couple episodes really even highlighted them more and Killua especially he wasn't even really in it too much but now not hearing about all of his family and going through even the scenes he was in it almost felt like he was a different character like he opened up a lot more and i have a different vibe about him now in a good way like before Killua was like a little more like mysterious and his intentions were kind of vague, but he was still like a child assassin, and he was like, you know, badass and everything. Somehow through this, these few past few episodes of his family arc, I have a way better grasp on his character now, and he seems to be a little more like, uh, just open. Like I feel like we found a lot, found out a lot more about him, and even the way he's acting and like the way his mannerisms are now, he even seems a bit different. But yeah, Killo's family is fucking crazy. Just everything about that was nuts, and part of me kind of wants to go back there one day. I don't know. I don't think we probably, we might, I don't know because his family really is pretty badass. And honestly, I want to know even more about them. And just, I kind of want more episodes like based on that area. Cause I really love that environment. Like that was one of my favorite environments. And again, the part of the, sh a part of the show that I really like is that adventure aspect. And like, if that's what we just got, 
but I feel like we're going to get that a lot where like each arc is going to be going to a different like environment where basically where our characters have to you know overcome the obstacles but I really wanted to keep on this like adventure thing because like you know us going to this mountain felt like it was like a you know a destination or a place where you know they get tested and everything and I, I want to just keep jumping from places to places because I'm, I'm in love with like that adventure vibe you know a little bit of that like kind of like that video game you go to different places and it's just a whole new atmosphere and you know you have to take on quests basically I mean that's what the hunters kind of feel like, like I feel like we're just gonna go through like a bunch of quests and things and Ahsoka even came up in this episode, which is great because I even said at the be that's crazy. I even said at the beginning of this episode that would I, I don't think we're going to be seeing Ahsoka. And then at the end of the episode, we actually talk about him and it still is playing a major factor in this because Gon clearly wants to. He, as stubborn as Gon is, it really highlights his character because it makes him, you know, more fleshed out and want something and not just, you know, give up, not give up, but make things very you know, oh, he's, you know, he's too nice to, you know, care. But no, it, it's com the complete opposite. Like, he is stubborn, but he also is very determined, and his willpower is there, and I really love that. So, you know, he, it, our character has something to fight for. Because not only is, you know, the Sissoka thing now a part of his agenda, he still has to find his father. But thankfully, a part of his agenda has been cleared because he's got Killua back, and I love their dynamic between each other, and I can't wait to see more of that. But yeah, I was, I was not expecting them to uh, part ways, but now that I think about it, maybe that's just for the end of this season. I mean, we'll find out. I guess there's no use in trying to, you know, theorize if they're coming back. Obviously, I think all of our characters are going to come back together. I just don't know when. But right now, I mean, I'm cool with a, a nice little kill and gone thing happening here. But yeah, another great episode. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one with me, and if you do enjoy, uh, please let me know in the comments. And uh, just please let me know in general if uh, you're having a good time watching this show with me. But yeah, again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys for the next episode of Hunter Hunter. Have a good one, guys.